Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins, where I got some sleep last night, and now we're gonna go talk to our friends. And my dog in real life is staring at me and staring at the door, so we'll see how that goes. If only you had come at a less troubled time. Yeah. For the love of But right now we're gonna go talk to people. And that might take us a while. Shh, doggy, I can hear you. Long live King Balin! Yeah. Who are you? Oh, more Orzammar? Hail to the Grey Warden. Oh, hey. Long live King Balin! Yo. Um, I never really shop here. Maybe I should do that sometime. Uh, oh, we could just shoot back to the Kadesh Thai, I guess. Cool. Party camp? Yeah, that's what I have selected. Okay. Yeah, I might have to take that helmet off. <laughs> uh, it looks a little ridiculous. But, let's see. Well, what would happen if I did, you know? Um. Oh. Uh, it's not too much of a difference, I guess. What was the... Plus two constitution? That's not bad. What else did we get? We got Ring of the Warrior. This is gold covered, covered in elven script. Whatever the writing said, it's awfully wordy. <laughs> Plus two strength and dexterity. Who would want that? Um, Zevran? Stan or Alistair? Maybe I'll get to Stan. He doesn't have a ring. There we go. Blood gorged amulet. Whoa! Blood weeps endlessly from the crusted seams of this rotten thing, staining your chest a, a gory red. Almost like glory red. Uh, wow, minus three strength and minus three willpower, but 12 constitution. Dang! Oh, and we have 111 items. <laughs> Dead Tig Shanker. Wow. As the great dwarven tigs fell one by one, some dwarves lingered on in hiding, preying on the dark spawn in the shadows of their former homes. Like, in a, I'm gonna kill you to take my home back, or in a, I'm gonna freaking eat you. Uh, whoa, 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 wait. No simple blades. These daggers date back to the time of the first blight. They were crafted in the Tevinter Imperium as weapons to fight against the Darkspawn Horde and fell in battle with the mages that first wielded them. Oh! Oh my gosh, though. If I wanted it, I, I, I had to have 26 dexterity, but it's for mages, it says! Oh, I get, well, they, most of them were mages, sort of. 26 dexterity? Eh. Trian's Mall. Uh, the mark of the Smith House Tirana is almost hidden on the handle. Plus 4 damage versus Dark Spawn. Boy, oh boy, do I have anything in. I don't. Okay, let's give this remarkable ruby to Shem. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. Only one? Oh my gosh. Where is Zevran? Oh, I really don't need to give him the silver bar. Oh, I have to gift it to her! Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, where are you? Yay! Oh, it's one of those subterranean bunny pigs. <laughs> bunny oh, pigs! Look at him. Come here, you. Uh, he's pretty cute. Have fun. Thank you so much. You've made my day. I'm glad. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I did a good thing. Puppy, how was your trip out? <coughs> I'll pet you. You did a good job. You found me a, a helmet that I don't really want, but I needed it. I feel like I'm, like, out of breath. I was running around this morning. Get a drink. I really wish my the chest was here and not elsewhere. Okay, uh, Shale. We should probably talk to Shale. 
I have a question for it, if it will indulge me. Indeed. It chose to side with Caradin and destroy the Anvil of the Void. I agree with its decision. And yet the Paragon Branca was the reason it ventured nope. into the Deep Roads. No, it's not. Why did it choose to defy her? It could not have known for certain that Caradin would be able to assist it with the dwarves. Hmm. Bronco was insane. I wasn't siding with her. Truly. <laughs> it seems a little mad itself. Me? <laughs> At any rate, I wanted to thank it. It gave Caradin the end he wanted, and I'm pleased to have been a part of it. Me too, Shell. I would have to think on Caradin's words to me. It was a great deal to absorb. But for now, let us go on. You disapprove? Ugh. It speaks. Uh, questions? It doesn't have better things to do. So you're a female. I had no idea. I did not think it needed to be said. <laughs> you never told me what gender it is, has it? Uh, I I am female. Good for it. <laughs> I'm sure that to other creatures as soft and weak as itself, that would be perfectly obvious. The truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become an issue. No, nah, man. Um, are we going to fight over the same men? Oh, boy. Um, no, no, not at all. Good. Let us leave it at that. Now, let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. <laughs> that is a girlish thing to want to do, yes. <laughs> ah, oh, it's best to indulge, Shale. It speaks. You're still with yes. me? It destroyed the Anvil of the Void. I would not have thought... It could just as easily have to fight Caradon, I think. I feel I owe it. Oh, Enough wow. that I'm willing to remain with it and assist in its crusade against the Darkspawn. Unless it wishes me to leave. Of course not. Uh, no, stay. You're quite helpful. No doubt. Yeah. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. I still do. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. Nobody wants to talk to me. Okay, disappear, little shale approval thing. Whatever. It speaks. Uh, questions? It doesn't have better things to do. Alright. On then. Uh, we can speak with Stan. What is your wish, Kadan? <laughs> Question? I am hardly surprised. Um, uh, never mind. Very well. I could romance Speak, Sten. then. Never then mind. I suggest we move on. Uh, well, let's go. As you wish. He's so freaking tall. Your desire is my command. Wow, I forgot that's what you said. Question. Of course. Grey Wardens. Such as they are. Nope, never mind. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. Um, Your desire is my command. Okie dokie. Well, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Now's as good a time as any to wow. talk. Wow, <laughs> never mind. Fair enough. Off we go then. How come I have those options? I don't think I've uploaded the one yet where I get those options, and I don't know how that works. You call? Uh, care to answer? Can I respond in poetry? Okay. Um, Liliana? Do you remember our discussion? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah! I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you told me, and you were oh, right. Oh, that discussion, okay. Despite what Marjolaine says, I am not like her. I know that now. I have found peace in knowing the Maker, and nothing will change that. I've followed you to make the world a better place, and as long as I keep that in mind, I will not fall. Sometimes, it takes another to show us the truths we hide from ourselves. Indeed. <laughs> it was my pleasure. I'm glad I left Lothering in your company. You have proven a true friend and I thank the Maker for you. Yay! I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? Talk? Of course. I noticed that she, whoa, had a bunch of other options. Are you feeling better about what happened yes, with Marjolaine? Yes, I'm feeling better. Time heals all wounds, so they say. Scars so they remain, say. but they are just 
colors in the painting that is my life, no? That's how I see scars. They're just stories. Physical representations of stories. Um... Um, uh, yeah, they, uh, uh, they added the complexity and beauty of the piece. Yes, that is what I'm saying. I wish things had happened differently, but knowing her and knowing me, Sorry, I'm looking at my dog. I didn't think it could have. We had good times, though, and I look back on those fondly. She might have loved her at Whatever one point. Whatever happened after will never change the truth of Marjolaine the Marjolaine may have just kind of lost her way while she knew Leliana, you know what I mean? So, um... You know you can talk to me if you or should I ask her? She was special to you, wasn't she? Yes, once, a long time ago. She was a worldly woman and there was so much she knew and was willing to share with me. I would have done anything for her once. Mm. She didn't deserve you. She used to be different. Happier, I think. She loved music and had a weakness for sugary cakes. Maybe she was always lying about who she was. Or maybe she changed over the years. Am I anything like her? I hope not. Um, everyone changes, unfortunately. It's not bad, but it could be good. Uh, you miss her. I do. And I probably always will. Yeah, it's normal. I will just move on. These are healthy Am reactions. I, I think I have. You are how she used to be ah, years ago. Me? A joy to be around, a constant companion, and a listening ear in times of need. Um, that will not change, not if I can help it. Yes, I know that. I don't think you would ever do what she did to me. I have never regretted leaving Orle. I do not regret any of the pain, the anger, the loneliness, because it brought me to you. And I... <coughs> I love you. It's so wonderful to say that to someone again. <laughs> but people are starting to look at me strangely. We will speak of this again, I promise. Ooh! Well then! That's good, I guess! <laughs> at one point in time, I would have been tempted, Liliana, and I still am. I mean, that just kind of came out of, not out of nowhere. The conversation was kind of having that tilt, but then I was like, well, maybe not, you know? But, I mean, we've already talked, for some, we talked about Zeb, and then right after that we talked about Alistair. Sorry, am I like, I'm like moving around, like, is that weird? Okay. You can probably hear me on the microphone. Scrolling around. Just making sure we're good. Okay. Well, let's see. If we... I enjoy the night set. Whoa! The night always seems more peaceful to I me. I should have saved. Should have saved! Uh, I know what you mean. I feel the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The darkspawn never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. Mm, we're all entitled to a little silliness now and then. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together, talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen, mostly. Sometimes, I succumb and fall asleep and wake to find you still watchful. And I know you're watching out for me. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> um, it would be nice if you stayed awake for a change. Um, that's what friends do, look out for each what other. What I'm trying to say is, is that I trust you. I'm comfortable around I trust you. you. I know you'll be there when I need you. You are our, our leader and my friend. No, I'm like, yes. Sometimes I think that m maybe we could be more than that. Maker, look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> um, you're you're uh, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to just see things through with Zeb, just to just to see what happens. But, um, you're cute when you're embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just flushed because Yee. of the heat. Yee. Um, uh, I, uh, I really like you, Leliana, but we should stay friends. Someone like you being interested in me is flattering? What? Are you saying I have bad taste? 
why can't I like you? You're a good person, a great listener, uh, a remarkable warrior. Well, thank you! you. Often show signs of intelligence. I often show signs of uh, intelligence. You're fairly good looking. <laughs> Most of your facial features are in the right place. Are you messing with me right now? <laughs> Thanks, you're so complimentary. <laughs> you're welcome. I try. <laughs> there isn't much more I can say. My feelings have been laid bare. You are very special to me. Ah. Uh, I really like you, Liliana, but we should stay friends. I don't know. Well, let's just let's see what happens. I feel the same way and I glad you do too. Really? N no one told me. You you felt the same way and didn't do me the courtesy of informing me? You made me say all those things. Ah. Why couldn't you accept them first? <laughs> oh, you... Her face. Oh, how very awkward. Uh, uh, that's me. I'm a terrible person. Why am I being such a baby <laughs> about this? I must be a sight spilling my guts. Uh, oh, I could kiss her. Your spilled guts make me feel loved and accepted. Yes, I am fond of you <laughs> and I care about you. And let's go about our business before the others suspect something. Um, so what does that mean exactly? Uh, I don't know what that means. Hang on, let's Oh, we did got some, some other things. Then we got the Stone's Lament done, achievement, Balin's ally, ally, and uh, destroying the Anvil of the Void. Okay. So we got a couple of more, of, couple of more of those achievements. Oh look, now it's all just boop doop way. Nope. Okay, it's perfect. It's perfect. Papa, -pa, I don't have to see any unlucky things. Okay, but I don't have the achievement for getting into a romance with Leliana. I guess I would have to. Oh, I almost exited. God dang, that was terrifying. Um, I almost said consummate the relationship. Is that a little too, uh, forward? I guess that's what you would have to do, though, if you wanted to uh, forward things, but I don't I don't know what the... You call? I don't know what the deal is. Again? I'm game. Not dinner? Oh. Flowers? Gifts of lethal poison? <laughs> you spoil me. <laughs> what? He's so adorable! I love him! Well, I don't know what to do. I've got these two on a string, and this one's just chill, and... Win! What's on your mind? Win! I will answer to the best of my ability. Win! <laughs> Orzammar has sent her best, Warden. It has been a long time since the Dwarven army has marched on the surface. Um, do you need anything? Outfitting any army on short notice, there's always room for more gear. Gems would serve the most utility. The middle stones, sapphires and the like. We're dealing with many smaller foundries and larger values might overwhelm. Oh. So if I pick up stones? Uh. Deep mushrooms. And death roots. And coin. Um, what's a sovereign shoe? Is that a gold one? I think it is. Fifty silver. Neat. You will have the best equipped army for Elden has ever seen. Okay. I think the elves are good, I'm just not sure about the others. Gems? I mean, I just gave one to... Oh, is that like the topaz and stuff? Do I have any of those? I don't think I do. No, I think I got rid of a couple because I was running out of room. Alright, I also need to do... I need, I'm gonna go talk to everybody first, but then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some enchanting. Um, okay, Ogren, Ogren, we have a lot to talk about, buddy. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. Uh, what's wrong, Ogren? Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eyes Woo! all. 
Did you want to talk about something? Did you actually get a hornet in your eye? I'd like to know more about what you. What about? Uh, how, how do you like the surface? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but... Yeah, the oxygen just so would make much you of sick. It. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale? Oh, who'd have thought? Ale made with grain. <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Huh. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. Okay. Pull up a drink, Warden. Join me in my sodding hole. <laughs> is there something bothering uh, you? Just tired is all. Did you want to talk about something? I'd like to know more what about, about you. Are you sure you're fine with what happened with Bronca? Oh, sure. I'm fine with it. Yeah. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets, but a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left, anyway. Um... Why would she leave a prize bowl like yourself? Um... Uh, yeah, let's ask that. Woman was a few columns short of all, you know. <laughs> gotta gotta I mean, cater to him too. She leaves me and flits about with that water dart Hesperth. What she got that I don't? Just the thought of the two of them together, oh, kissing no. and licking and intertwined <clears throat> on the floor of the deep roads. Yeah, don't get too hung up over I'm, it. Uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> go back to the tent for a moment. To, Excuse me. What the heck? He's the weirdest guy. I, he's probably a very typical guy, but jeez. They don't, okay, no. The fact that he just killed his wife, even and she was crazy, and killed their entire house. Like, you'd think he'd be a little more hung up on it, and that he wouldn't be wanting to go into the tent for some alone time after thinking about his dead wife he murdered and the lady that she was screwing and who is, like, Freaking still in the deep road somewhere, like going cray cray. There you are. Oh. Wanted to talk to you. You have your helmet on. That's not supposed to happen. But what about? You and I, we've. You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Yeah, okay. Mm. Uh, I love you too, Ogren. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be shaking <laughs> hung up to dry. <sighs> It's too soon, though, lady. Too soon. <sighs> I just wanted to ask a favor. Yeah, yeah. Um, take your time. What is I it? I was thinking. Uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar. Before I left, obviously. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't, like, some ceremony when he left. Or, like, somebody to be like, you're thrown out now, or whatever. A girl you knew, or a girl you knew? Um, and you want to go find her? Yeah, it'd be nice to talk to someone else who's been out here a while. Oh, wait, this is his personal someone quest. Someone else from Orzammar. Um. Uh, who, who, and how do you know, the, well, who is she? Her name's Felsey. She and I were uh, oh. friends after Bronca left for oh. the deep roads. Oh. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. You had a lover on the side, too. Don't blame you. Your crazy wife ran off. Uh, what do you mean you were for Ogryn, you dog? <laughs> anyway, she left for the surface a year back, and I haven't seen her since. Um, why did she leave? What? Why are you asking me? I didn't do anything. Oh, that sounds suspicious. I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. That'd be good. Uh, I mean, he's kind of had to get over Bronca in the last two years, you know? And then seeing her and, and dying and all that. There's something here you're not telling ah, me. You suspicious <laughs> sack of pebbles. You always have to think the worst of someone. 
Uh, persuade. And here I thought we were friends. Ah, you whipped out the knife, didn't you? <laughs> Look, Felsi and me, we didn't leave things on the best of terms. Uh, I'm stunned. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, she was jealous of Bronca. Then she got to be controlling. Ooh, that's the worst. Ogren was meant to be free, you know what I mean? Right, right. Anyway, no she commitment. couldn't handle everyone wishing they could be with me. So she left. That's a big fat lie. Honest truth. Ah, big fat. I don't believe you, Nugspew. Well, it's my side of the story. I don't give sod all what you believe. So, are we doing this or not? He's gonna be mad at me. Did he call clean bad? Huh. Uh, we'll find well, her. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever. Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. What? No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Hang on. Uh, never mind. I. All right then. Now your helmet's off. Oh, good. Uh, Ogren's old flame. Okay, so he did approve. That's good. Just leave me alone, Warden. What? Seriously. Why? What? Are you upset about something? Upset? <laughs> I don't get upset. I get drunk. Did you want to talk about something? Uh, I'd like to know more about what you. What about? Do you miss... Or what's it like to be a warrior? You get Rosamund? a sword or an axe and are told to go out and defend your city. It's the best thing in the world. That is until you try to live in the city you saved. Mm. What do you mean? I mean, they train you to kill, teach you to harness your rage at the first noise you hear, then try to set a hundred sodding rules about it. Like those provings. <laughs> Ancestors show their favor through the strongest arm, right? Ah. Uh. So why so many rules saying how to fight and when you win and not to bloody kill? Killing's what swords are for. Uh, why didn't they give you blunted weapons? Um, fighting without killing. I think it's true. Fighting without killing is the skill of a is the skill of a true warrior. Is a skill of a true warrior? Okay. Um. But he wouldn't see things that way. It just, just kind of depends on your perspective. Uh, why didn't they give you blunted you weapons? You can kill with blunted weapons, uh, Warden. Well, that's true. Well, maybe you can't. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me cranky. Don't you have any other inane questions? Do you miss Orzammar? What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad in addition to being ugly? I'm beautiful! They treated me like a puddle fly back there. I went there. back 20 I'm never hours going back. to make sure I was beautiful. Don't give all me right. that. Talk later. Hi. All right, then. Well, at least you approve. I got a moment. Hey, sure. Oh, my ear is itchy. Um, we have any what more about? questions? Some other time? All right. Oh, Hi. Okay. All right, then. All right, sorry, buddy. We'll get... I got a moment. Hey, we'll sure. We'll get... Uh, can he give me a fight like you do? We'll see. You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. No, see, it's funny because you'll never be able to do it. A mage wants to be a berserker? Uh -huh. <laughs> but if you know someone fit for this type of work, I'll teach Sweet. him. It'll be nice to have another berserker to grunt at for a change. All right, cool, cool. Tell me more about berserkers. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. It's pretty simple. The hard part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. It's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife. Whatever. Your wife? Um. <laughs> I, especially my wife. Just thinking about it works? Well, for most berserkers, it does. Several years ago, I worked with a berserker on one expedition who just couldn't work himself up. Well, this strange. We had to kick him in the stones before <laughs> he could get going. Why would you want to fight that way? Why not? When you fight, you get mad. By the stone, it's a sodding tactic to enrage your enemy so he makes a mistake, right? Berserkers grab that anger and drink it like it's yesterday's ale. Then we turn it against our foes and watch the limbs fly. 
Okay. And just thinking angry thoughts make it, it makes it happen. Oh, for most berserkers, it oh, right, okay. we had to kick them in the stones before it could uh, get going. Let's talk about something I'm else. I'm listening. I'd like to know more what about, about you. What about? On second thought, all right. maybe some other time. We'll talk more later. Aye. All right, then. Um. I got a moment. Hey, sure. Let's see. Uh, tell me more about berserkers. What the sod is there? Oh. You need to shut that off. Uh, For some people, being in battle is enough. Something else. I'm listening. More about you. What about? Never mind. All right. Okay, it looks like we've caught Aye. up. I think I've all gotten right, then. all the things. Um, let's give him... Oh, he needs to level up. But let's give him some of the... We'll give him... Wow, yeah, we got a lot. We'll give him wine. do. Sure. Um, that looks fine there we go. indeed. <laughs> And then maybe one more. Okay, so we have four that aren't. Maybe I should store these two since they're... Well, actually, I should probably give Morg on that because I think I got only a little bit of disapproval. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but I don't think it has to be perfect. And I have this ancient map of the Aperium that I'm not sure what to do with. Let's see. So I have four for him at this point. Well, let, let's see where he's at. You. You have a lot of nerve coming here. You're very drunk, aren't you? Uh, this is this is my camp, Algren. Oh, no, you don't. You can't come swishing in here and take over the warden's camp just <laughs> like that. I'll fight you with my sodding weapon, you moss-biting poetess. Poetess? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ah, you think I'm Hespit. Ah, you think I'm someone else. Cute. I'm gonna poetess. You came and, and stole my own princess Did with he your, love Bronca? your poetry. He had to have loved her. Ah, you think I'm Hespit. Your disguise can't fool me, woman. That's right. You keep looking at me like that. I'll just go get my pants from that <laughs> sodding dog. What? Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, he is drunk! Oh my gosh! He did something! Ah! <laughs> what do we do? I can't wake up! <laughs> Ass chaps. Oh, I can, can I get him drunk? Oh my gosh, what a weird word. I got a moment, hey, sure. Okay. What, what about? about you? Never mind. All right. I. All right then. Okay. Um. Alrighty then. Um, what else? We I think we've caught up with Ogren. We talked to Zev. How to make out? Um, Alistair Stenshale. Where's everybody at? Do you guys love me yet? Um, Shale's, wow, Shale's actually pretty good. Doggy, always good. Liliana freaking loves me. Ogren's the lowest, but he's not bad. Morgan's good. Zevran's good. Sten is good. Gwyn is good. Alistair's good. Um, I might actually give Ogren another... That looks fine indeed. Yeah. Just, I also just want, kind of want to get rid of them, you know, like, I need to get them out of my inventory. I've had them for ages. I got a moment, hey, sure. Okay. What about? All right. Never mind. Hi. All right, then. Okay. So, that is... That's everyone. More, maybe we should go talk to Morgan really quick. Do you realize that you've been smiling for hours uh, now? Have I? Since the last time you and that uh, girl shot glances at each uh, other, in fact. I cannot imagine what you begin to see in her. I hope at least the dalliance is worthwhile. What? Uh, uh, we have been, uh, get, what? Um... Uh, have I triggered, like, three romances without meaning to? I feel like I'm digging myself into a hole and that this is going to end badly. 
Um. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, we happen to get along well enough in that department. Thank you. Or oh, you have no idea. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it then. <laughs> Is a bit sickening to watch you two, but I imagine it at least takes your mind from our situation. Have it your way. Okay. Oh, she approved. What comes, my friend? Uh, ask you something. So, full of questions. Um, all right. Well, that was funny. I kind of was hoping she'd maybe say something about Zev or... Or Alistair, I guess, but... Um, here, let me try something. We're gonna, we're gonna try something. Uh, we're gonna try something that may or may not be good. So, this might sound a bit uh, strange, but I have to ask. It's a, shoot. uh, personal shoot. question. Uh... Uh, what kind of personal I'm, question? I'm wondering about... Oh, well, we well, already talked about, about this. about Zevran, really. It seems like the two of you have become quite... Uh, I, sp I I'm just curious. Maybe it's inappropriate of me to ask, but what are uh, your intentions towards him? Is it very It might be. Uh, I, I was under the imp So, now that I've got that off my chest, let me ask something um, else. Do you have any feelings... Towards um, me. Um, we are friends. I didn't well, we? there's. I have to do that again. We were all. I was. He was already low. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Something on your mind? <sighs> that was not what I wanted to happen. I was gonna kiss him and see what happened. Uh. Uh, maybe I'll uh, this one. Sure. Yeah, because I don't. I mean, that the save that's right above that is the one where I haven't said that to him yet. I don't know. I mean, that's what I did last time, but for some reason it still put me into having a romance. By the way, as you can't tell, this is going to be another hour-long one because we have to run around camp talking to people. So this might sound a oh, bit strange, God. but I have. I'm I'm wondering about, well, uh, about Zevran. I I, I'm just curious. Maybe it's inappropriate it of me to. It might be. Uh, I, I, so now that I've got that off my chest, I've come to care for you I'd a great deal. That. Uh, that wasn't too soon, was it? I don't know. I need more testing. Well, uh, what about Zevran? Uh, okay. Um, I don't like the idea of leading him on. Uh, I'm not gonna lose uh, him. Sorry. I'm okay. God oh, dang, this is not working out. Hang on. That what the heck? Okay. All right. I guess we're not gonna do that then. Maybe the game noticed what I've done. Uh, yeah. We'll go back to that one, I guess. The game's like, wait a second, we realized we messed up. Strange. Maybe I'll talk to Liliana and see what happens. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The stars are out. Indeed. So, go help Alistair me. For once, a clear it night. It comforts me to know that the stars will remain untouched by the blight. That whatever happens down here, they will shine eternally. Their light She's so undimmed. cute. There is a story about that cluster <gasps> of stars over there. Do a you story! Know it? Elindra and her soldier? I don't know it. Uh, tell me the story. A long time ago, there lived a fair maiden called Elindra. She had many suitors, but spurned them all for she did not love them. One day, Elindra was sitting by her window in her father's castle, singing and dreaming. When her lovely voice caught the attention of a young soldier. Entranced by her song, the soldier drew near to Elindra's window. As their eyes met, he fell in love with her and she with him. When Elindra told her father about the man she had chosen, 
He was furious, for Elindra was highborn, but her love nothing more than a common soldier. To keep them apart, he had Elindra imprisoned in the highest tower of his castle, and sent her soldier to the wars. Alas, not a month had passed before news of the soldier's death reached Elindra. Of course. Alone in her tower, Elindra wept for her love, and beseeched the guards to deliver her from this cruel world. So earnest was her plea, that the gods themselves were moved. They gathered Elindra into their arms and lifted her high into the heavens, where she became a star. The gods also raised up the soul of oh, Elindra's good. soldier love, and there he dwells, across the horizon from her. The band of stars between them is a the river of Elindra's tears. Oh, it's one of those star-crossed lover's love. stories. They say that when Elindra has cried enough, she will be able to cross the river to be reunited with her soldier. That's funny. There's always a star-crossed lover's story, you know. I can't it's like I think it's in Japan where like once a year these two lovers are, you know, they're in this their stars in the sky and once a year they're they're the stars will cross or whatever and that's when they can see each other. Something like that. Um yeah, I want to ask that. Why do stories always end so badly? Hmm. It doesn't end so badly. It ends hopefully. Elindra will one day be with her love again. We don't know when, but she will. This story is will. one of my favorites. A tale of a love so great and so enduring but that all they it do defies was fall in love, just staring at each other, you know? Action. That's not love. Sometimes That's I lust. ask myself, does such a love exist? Can it exist? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of how I feel, but not like always, but I feel like a lot of times people people m mix up love, lust, and attachment, so. Um, few loves are so powerful. I think I would be lucky to experience an emotion even half as pure and true as Elindra's love. Hmm. Uh, friendship is a kind of love, too. Yes, it is, isn't it? You are my friend, and I love you, but I'm not quite ready to cry a river of tears. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Me neither. Um, let, let's see. There you were love other... Alistair. Whoa! Uh, I, uh, no. I don't know that it's love, really. I've seen you together. I'd have to be blind, deaf, and buried ten leagues what? underground not to notice. But you've said such things to me. Oh. Were they oh. Have you been playing with my feelings? Oh no, oh no. Um, I care for both of you. If you really care, don't do this to us. Okay. I know Alistair wouldn't want it any more than I do. Um, what? Um, uh, uh. Uh, but I, how come Zev hasn't done any of this? Uh, I, I should end it with Alistair before it goes too far? I, I am sorry I had to force this on you. I couldn't stand by any longer wondering if I meant anything to you. Uh, I hope no one is hurt by my decision. So do I. I would hate to be the cause of anyone's pain. We should talk later. Oh, she disapproves. Zevran, seriously, man. You call? Again? I'm game. What? And I'm not even drunk yet. Ugh. Okay, how come nobody notices this? Nobody notices this? Um... I guess I will save it again, just because I have no idea what's going on right now. Um... Okay, should I just... So, this might sound a bit oh. strange. I'm, I'm wondering about... Well, uh, about Zevran, really. Why are you... It seems like the two of you have become quite... friendly. I suppose we I, have? I'm just curious. Maybe it's inappropriate of me to ask, but 
What are your... It might be. Uh, I, I haven't decided sorry, yet. Now that I've got that off my chest, let me ask something. You tell me I first. I know it might... I think maybe it's because... We, am I fooling myself? Um, do you think I could or care for a human you man? you might ever feel the same way about me? Um... More joking? That we, that's kind of mean. Um... I, I'm sorry. Well, there's... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. This is getting ridiculous. Do I have anything for him? Um... I don't know... What is that? Oh, a simple holy symbol, so it would probably be for... Um, what's it? Leliana. Let's see. Yeah, um, Leliana wants the... etched... silver symbol, but I don't think we need- I need to give it to her at this point. Jeez Louise. This is confusing. I'm really confused because I've already had this conversation with Alistair. Um, and I already lost points from it, you know? What does this say? Oh, okay, right, right. We gotta do that for Ogryn. And then after that, I do think we're done. When... Morgan, Sten, Alistair, Leliana, Ogryn. Oh, where did. Oh, it's, uh, Shales is in downloadable content. Party camp. Oh. Okay, I don't. I don't know. When? What's on your mind? <sighs> it is no trouble. Where are you when I need you? Stan, what do you think? What is your wish, Kadan? Um, never mind. As you wish. Morgan! Morgan, you gotta comfort Alistair because I just broke his heart. What comes, my friend? Morgan. Never mind. Okay, um, oh, let's, let's double check with Shale. It speaks. You, uh, questions? It doesn't have bet on them. Okay. Shale, we gotta have a girl talk because I'm having issues here. I don't understand. These two are, those two are having jealousy talks when we haven't even started anything. And Zevran doesn't really seem to care and I want to punch him. I'm sure somebody's probably explained to it to me by now by the time this is uploaded. Or maybe I've looked it up because I just don't understand. How do, I don't understand, bro. How does romance? <laughs> I don't understand this people thing. These people with their the romance. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. But I guess I'm, I'm going to call this one here. Pretty sure we've done all the talking and stuff. I'm going to do inventory next. And maybe do a run by Soldier's Peak. And then try the leveling up thingy. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, thank you all for joining me and for being patient with these long episodes. Hopefully, hopefully you've been patient. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.